uh, today I want to talk about another Depeche Mode album, uh, Ultra. So, um, this would have been the first album that came out after I got into Depeche Mode. Uh, so, it was pretty exciting for me. Um, back then, we had the internet, it just wasn't as, as it is today. So, I had heard news like one of the band members had left and that the lead singer had died. Of course, I, I later found out that he was only dead for like two minutes, drug overdose. Um, and, um, so, and I knew they were coming out with a new album and this was my first year in college and something I'm going to talk about later is that in college, later as in like in another video, is that in college we had MTV on all the time. It was like the only channel that we would watch. And they came out with a song and I was liking the song and I was like, this really sounds like Depeche Mode. And then at the end of the video, it did say Depeche Mode, new video, barrel of a gun. And I was like, awesome. Um, obviously, nowadays when Al um, albums are released, I check out the new songs, and they show up on YouTube bef before they do anything, and now I get to the point where I don't, I don't even buy the album, um, I just have everything on Spotify, so once it's released there, then, then I have it on repeats. Um, so, when Depeche Mode came out, I, I guess, and at the time, I... I was pretty poor and pretty cheap. I was a college student. So I didn't even buy the album brand new. I bought it used. Um, at a used CD store. And I still have it with me. And I still have the price tag on it. It cost me $7.99 to buy this album. Um, so. In my opinion. It's a, a really good album. Um, Barrel of a Gun is an excellent song. Pretty pretty hard rock and I came out uh, I bought the single as well and it had some pretty good remixes on there as well this is the time I was pretty much into uh, electronic music and electron or uh, techno music and stuff like that so some of the remixes were pretty hard I so I really enjoyed that um, <clears throat> the So, Bear of a Gun is a good song, good video. Um, Love Thieves is the uh, the second, just just like the uh, the first album that I talked about, uh, Songs of Faith and Devotion. I'm gonna try to re I'm gonna try to do this off the top of my head. So let's see if I can remember the songs in order off the album um, without looking. Uh, let's see. Now that I'm at a stoplight. I can actually show you. Um, the album. And there's the uh, the uh, price tag that I still have. $7.99. Bought that. <laughs> I think it's called like the CD Seller or something. Um, in Sioux Falls, South Dakota. Could be wrong about that. So, Love Thieves is uh, the second. Actually, let me... Let me hop to that really fast. And somebody on the internet at the time was commenting about this song, saying that they enjoyed the song, but it sort of bothered them that it didn't have a chorus. That the entire song is just like verse, 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 and then that's it. Um, I'm okay with it. I think it's a, a good song. Uh, one thing that's noted about this album to me is some of the songs sort of run together. And maybe that was because one of the band members who was in charge of the music at the time left. So the diversity in music is is missing. But and this happens towards the end of the, the CD as well. Uh, like Sister of Night and Insights and and Free State and stuff like that. They all sort of kind of run together. It's it's almost like Dave is singing all the songs 
with obviously different lyrics, but he's singing all the songs and there's not too much uh, music variety between the different songs. Um, so hopefully you can hear what's playing in the background right now, but this is, uh, this is Love Thieves. Uh, the second song, or I'm sorry, the third song is Home. Uh, another good song, but not my favorite off the album. The, my favorite off the album is the uh, the two singles. Um, it's No Good and Barrel of the, um, Barrel of the Gun. Uh, so Home was, I think, on the third single in combination with uh, Useless. And I'll get to that here uh, here shortly. Um, it's No Good is a really good song, really good single. Enjoy the video. I thought they were pretty creative when it when it came to the uh, the video. Uh, after that is You Slink, which is just an instrumental. Um, once again, the instrumentals sort of run together, uh, right up there with uh, Painkiller. Painkiller sort of has like an Egyptian feel to it, which I which I sort of enjoy. The longer version is on the single for uh, Barrel of a Gun, and I think the longer version is it's kind of kind of hard techno as well, which which I enjoyed at the time. Um, you Slink goes right into uh, track number six, which is Useless, which. The useless video and the useless album track on the album, um, they're different and they're they're kind of the same. But and and I like both. I I can't really prefer one or the other. Um, so here's where the song after this the songs sort of run together. So Sister of Night. Something that bothered me about this song is he's talking about the Sister of Night, which I love the idea, but later in the song, he's singing like, Oh Sister, and to me, that's a little, uh, a little cross the line when it comes to, like, incest and stuff like that, so I don't particularly care for that. Uh, free State, Free Your Mind, that's all, that's all good. Um, Insight, nice, all good. Uh, but yeah, like I was saying, that they all sort of they all sort of run together towards at the end. Um, not my favorite album, uh, but it is up there. I really do. I really do enjoy it. Glad they came out with it. Um, always something that I could uh, listen to if uh, I'm in a, in the mood for that that soul feel. Like I said, it's. It's more about the uh, Dave singing voice at this point. Um, something else is that this album, there's quite a few covers for some of the songs in there, but there was one album that it's all covers. It was called uh, Barrel of the Suns instead, instead of um, obviously the single off there called Barrel of the Guns. Um, Barrel of the Suns, each song is done by a different artist going through recreating this album. And I bought that album as well at the time. Um, most of the songs are not very good. And it's from artists that I've never heard of before. And I think it was a European thing. Um, but... But some of the songs, some of the songs were good, and I'm glad I own the album. Um, and I'm sure that you can go and check out all this stuff online and, and find these videos on YouTube and stuff like that. Whereas at the time when I was getting into this stuff, it's um, I don't even think they had. Yeah, I think this was a few years before, um, like uh, file sharing and stuff. So. It's, uh, you either buy this stuff at the uh, the used CD shop or because uh, this was before YouTube as well, <laughs> so uh, you buy it at the used CD shop or you you don't get it at all. Uh, so yeah, 